idea behind a partial is simple. It's a file that can be included into a layout to reduce repetition or simply hide some complexity. You'll add a nav bar to your site using a partial. While you could add this logic directly to your base of .html, sometimes it's nice to split a layout into smaller partials so you're not dealing with a 2000 line file. In layouts, we'll create a directory called partials. And inside that, create a file called nav.html. And we have a very basic nav structure here. It's a nav element with an unordered list, which lists the pages on the site. So that's the navigation taken care of. Now it's time to include it in the layout. So we'll open up base of and add the following below body. So we'll call partial and then pass it nav.html. In Go, your single quotes are no good for strings. Only double quotes designate a string. Now when we render the page, we have a simple navigation. Let's try another scenario to demonstrate the power of partials. We'll simplify base of .html even further by moving the contents of head to a partial. So we'll create a partial called meta.html. And I'll cut all of this across. In this partial, we have variables that need the context of the current page. For example, this dot page dot title. Lucky for you, passing the context of the current page can be done with a single character. So when we add the partial here, called meta.html, so I can pass the context of this current page by adding a dot here. And you'll see this sort of syntax come up a lot in Hugo sites. In the next lesson, we'll go through the basics of Hugo templating and see how we can manipulate and iterate over data.